This is a portable ultrasound machine, and the company that makes this machine quoted $20,000 to replace the entire motherboard because the power plug is loose. They said that since the part that is loose is connected to the motherboard, they would have to replace the entire board. I have a hard time believing that, so we are going to pop the cover off and see if we can just resolder the connector for this plug into place and get this thing to boot up. So flipping the case over and looking at how we're going to get it apart, it looks like a pretty standard case where we've got a bunch of little recessed screws on the back here. So my hope is I'm going to be able to take those out and then that the black lower part of the case will come off. There's also this thing. Not quite sure how this comes out. I probably should have asked my wife. Um, again, my wife is a veterinarian, which is why I wind up repairing broken veterinary equipment sometimes. So this looks like the actual wand thingy that you do the ultrasound with and this gray thing here looks like it comes out so that may or may not be in the way i'm going to leave that in place for now and try to get this black part of the case off so update number one i did get all those screws off but it looks like this cover doesn't want to come off yet because it is being held in place by this thing so it looks like i need to lift this flap up and then turn it 90 degrees and then that pops right out okay so you can see we've got a bunch of stuff there and there we go now, back part of that case comes right off. And we can see over here, we have the connector for the pretty beefy power cable. And this is very loose. So looks like those are, see if I can get it to focus a little better here. These are through hole parts. So hopefully pretty easy to resolder. I mean, you can see how that is visibly extremely wiggly. So I think what I'm going to do is now have a bunch more screws to remove to get the motherboard off so I can flip this over and access the other side to resolder that on and then maybe slather it in some hot glue while I'm in here just to reinforce it because it's probably only mechanically being held in place by those through hole pins with no additional support or bracket or anything for this fairly large plug. So. I'm not going to film and make you watch me undo a bunch of screws, but looking around, it looks like we've got a bunch of screws holding the motherboard to the top half of the case. Might have to be careful because there are going to be some wires connected to other places. Like, not quite sure what these things are here, but I'm going to try and get this off and access the other side for soldering. So update partway through here, despite removing every visible screw that I can find, the motherboard is still in there very securely and I am hesitant to try and pry it out, although you can see some of the edges are loose and will pop up a little bit. I don't want to crack the board or if there's some other hidden screw I haven't found or something else kind of securing it to the top of the case. So what I'm going to have to decide is if I try and solder this thing from the top, which isn't really how you're supposed to do it, but there might be enough access to the little pads there just to get enough solder on to hold it in place, and then again maybe reinforce with some hot glue, or continue to try and work my way around the motherboard to see if I can get this thing out somehow. Next update, I don't know if you can hear this, if the camera's microphone will pick it up, but if I peel this back very slowly, it sounds like there is some glue or tape slowly coming undone, so it's not that it's held in place by screws that I'm missing, but maybe it was glued to the top of the inside of the case here. So I'm going to work my way around very carefully with a flathead screwdriver, again, because I don't want to crack the board or rip anything out, and see if I can actually get this out gently. So next update, in an attempt to see if there were any screws holding the motherboard in from the back or something weird, I flipped this over and not totally successfully peeled the rubber keyboard mat off the front, managed to rip it around the edges a bit after prying this thing up and then trying to get it out. So could have been more careful there, but I am not really seeing any screws going in from this side that might be holding the motherboard in, so I still think it is just glued down there really good or something, because as I'm trying to Go around, you can see that it'll start to bend up. This is hard to do with one hand. It'll bend up in some places, but not others, and I can't see any screws holding it down. So as of now, I think I've managed to get two whole edges up. I'm just gonna keep going around really carefully and try to peel this edge up, which is the most stuck right now, without cracking the board.
So I accidentally just learned that this whole subsection of the board pops off. It looks like there are, whoops, I should probably be a little more careful, two whole rows of header pins that were electrically connecting it to the motherboard here and here. But now that this is out of the way, it is a lot easier to see the entire board underneath and that again, I don't think I missed any screws that were somehow hidden underneath that top board, but I'm gonna go along and continue to check. Not sure if I can get this thing here off and see if there's any screws under that. All right, next update, after spending another 15 minutes trying to pry around all the edges here, it looks like whatever this thing is, if we zoom in there, is actually screwed in from the other side. So you can see the tapped holes there and what looks like screws poking in from the other side of the board. And if we flip this whole thing over, of course, zoom out again. This board is in the way and that is screwed down along the edges. If I zoom in there under this black plastic piece and I cannot get this off without breaking it. It is snapped into place there, probably one of those little one-way tab things that's never really designed to be taken out. So despite being able to pop the front edge off, as I continue trying to work my way around and pop this black piece off, it is just bending at that point. So if I keep going, I think it's gonna snap and I would need to get it off all the way around to get these screws off to remove this blue board, because I don't know if you can see them under the edge there, but there's some more screws that I would need to remove back there. So it's starting to look like it's gonna to be too much of a pain to disassemble this entire top half of the case as well. So I am gonna do the cheap route, and rather than properly getting this guy off and resoldering it from the back, so I've actually already tried to the best of my ability to get some more solder on from the top side here, as you can see, I was able to get two pins. This is a really messy job, but get a little more contact there. It is still a little wobbly. And then there's also this little hex head thing here that I tried tightening, but I don't have one. I actually have some smaller than that, but I don't have exactly the right size, so I was unable to tighten that. So I am going to try slathering it in hot glue, reassembling everything, and seeing if it will power on. So next update is that I discovered that I was actually missing two screws on the back that were holding this black plastic case on. So it wasn't tabs, I was wrong about that. Was able to get this off, then was able to get all the screws for this guy off, fold this up and finally see these screws that are holding the motherboard in from the back. So those are um, hex head instead of Phillips head, or got my Allen wrenches here, gonna go try and get those out and then hope that I can actually finally remove the motherboard and solder properly from the back. So I've got to be careful because when I flipped it over, or sorry, when I lifted it up, this thing immediately fell out and I don't want to lose track of the orientation. So I'm going to get a Sharpie or something and mark one corner and where that goes on the motherboard. But it looks like something is still holding this thing down. So I've got to put my phone down and investigate here to see what in the world is still holding the motherboard down, but at least we got those screws out. So it looks like that was just glued down or something kind of held in place by friction, who knows. The whole motherboard is finally loose, but now I've got to be super careful because again, there's all these tiny ribbon cables connecting it to the screen up front. I don't want to rip anything as I try to get this out, but I'm gonna try and get access to the back of this guy to actually solder it on. So here you can see I managed to carefully fold that back somewhat precariously at about 90 degrees without ripping any of these ribbon cables out, but then also not having to unplug them. And if we look way back here in this corner, you will see, I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pins that were actually holding that power plug on. And I did a kind of terribly sloppy job. I'm actually not very good at soldering, but all of those had come loose. So hopefully they all actually now have contact with the pads again, even if they are not that pretty. So now it is time to try and reassemble this entire thing. I'm not gonna film that part, but it's just gonna be that process in reverse and see if it actually boots up. 
So I wish I got this part on video. I did manage to get it to boot up, but to just a white screen. So my first guess is maybe one of those little ribbon cables that connects the motherboard up to the screen. I might have accidentally ripped one of or I did accidentally rip one of those out. Um, and then maybe didn't get it back into the connector properly. So something potentially messing up the screen or something else I did not reconnect properly. And then in the process of messing with the power port, it looks like I somehow got that loose again and now cannot get it to boot up, uh, boot up at all. So it was booting up, the screen would come on, you could hear the little cooling fan running, but I have apparently managed to kill it again. So I was kind of in a rush when I did this. I have two young kids and was trying to squeeze this project in. If you have kids, you know how that goes. So if you have a full day to carefully disassemble one of these things and keep track of all the parts and not accidentally rip any cables out and very carefully resolder that power connector, you can probably repair this for well under $20,000. Again, I am probably going to have to call it quits here and go feed my kids dinner and save this for another day. But again, if you have any comments or suggestions on anything you saw on this video, please go ahead and leave a comment. Thank you.